Hello everyone. Today I'll be making a quinoa and a Brussels sprout salad. I've cut the Brussels sprouts uh, small and I also put some salt, uh, one tablespoon of salt and I massaged it in to soften it. So get it ready for the salad. Uh, I've cut up some pe pecans. It's a half a cup and a half a cup of cranberries. I also have a quarter of an onion uh, that I cut up. It's a sweet onion. Um, I have a half of a um, pepper, which is um, an orange pepper right here, and uh, three stalks of celery cut up. I'm gonna mix everything, but first I'm gonna cook the quinoa and two tablespoons of oil in my pot, and I'll be back. Okay, so here's the quinoa. I'm gonna get it ready to put, I turn on the stove and I'm just gonna put it right in there on top of the oil. And I'm gonna mix it. Once it starts to brown a little bit, just like in my previous quinoa salad uh, recipe, I will um, add the water, cover the pot, and uh, let it sit like that until it's done. It's always perfect. So one cup of quinoa, two cups of water. I have the um, the water ready by my side here. I'm gonna let this brown a little bit and then uh, I will be okay, back. Okay, uh, the quinoa is browning nicely. I don't want it too brown, so just a little bit as you can see, but you can hear, hear the sizzle. I have the two cups of water here, which I'm gonna put in. Put it in slowly. It does that because of the oil, the hot oil. What I'll do now is just mix it a little bit like this and uh, cover it and turn the heat off. Well, first wait to see if you have, uh, it's bubbling up, it's um, starting to boil. So I would wait a little bit. Let's see, we'll wait a minute or so, it will start to boil. Once it starts to boil, then put the lid on. Okay, there it is. It came up to a boil about a minute. It's uh, boiling. I'm gonna cover it like this. And I'm gonna turn off the heat and let it sit there until it's ready, probably about a half hour or so. We're back again. Um, I've massaged the Brussels sprouts and they are ready. What I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna squeeze any water that I can get out of them and I'll put them ready for the quinoa when that's ready. Uh, so uh, this is gonna be a, a cold salad again. Most of the stuff is raw except for the quinoa, which is very good for you. You have a lot of vitamins and minerals and everything that's needed. The quinoa has a, a lot of fiber and it's good for you. Uh, it's a lot better than rice, although I love rice, and I'll have some recipes of uh, with rice shortly. Um, but this one is definitely uh, a good one. It's uh, savory and a little bit of sweet we'll have here. So I'm gonna add the onions to the salad. So I'll have everything ready for the quinoa to join our vegetables here. <laughs> uh, let's this okay so I'm gonna add the raisins right here and I'm gonna add all the uh, how much I put of everything back in the in the, on my uh, YouTube channel under the recipe it will be there for you to print out if you like or write it down or whatever you like um, so uh, let's see, let's get everything out of here. Off of the cutting board and into the nice pot where we can mix everything together once the quinoa once is ready to join our vegetables and pecans. Okay, so we're done. Again, for this one, I'm just gonna use an olive oil dressing uh, with dill. And um, because I like dill with the Brussels sprouts, and I will tell you to do what to do next in a minute. All right, so the quinoa is cooked, and I fluffed it up. 
I'm gonna put it in the, with the vegetables. It's still a little bit hot, which is okay. I let it sit a little bit. But you can see if the, some of the steam coming out here. It's all right. Perfect every time. So one cup of quinoa, cook it in two tablespoons of oil until it browns a little bit. And then you add uh, two cups of water. Perfect. I'm gonna put some uh, salt. Okay. I'm gonna put some uh, pepper. So I would say about one teaspoon of salt to begin with that. And then um, pepper, just a little bit of pepper here. Okay, like this. I'm gonna take my dill. Put the wrong thing here. I'm gonna take some dill out and about a teaspoon, two, ta two teaspoons of dill. If you don't like dill, you can sub the dill for the parsley and then um, olive oil. Easy on the salad and it's healthy. So it's a very good alternative to just use this. I would say about uh, a half a cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of balsamic. We'll give it a nice um, taste. We're gonna mix everything. I'll taste it and see if it needs anything else. And then it should be done. So let's uh, mix all these beautiful colors in the salad and see what else we need. If anything else is needed actually. Look at that, look at how nice that looks. Everything's raw, all the raw vegetables. Somebody's falling. <laughs> Sorry about that. Somebody was calling here. So I'm, let me mix this real quick like this and I will taste it. Okay, so you want to fluff it. Just bring everything from the bottom up and then fluff it like this. This will keep in the refrigerator so well and it actually tastes better the second day, but um, It tastes good the first day too. <laughs> so let's give it a try here. Mm. Perfect. I am not gonna add anything. It's perfect just the way it is. Um, I'm gonna plate it next and I'll be back. All right, here it is, the Brussels sprout quinoa salad. Healthy, delicious, and I hope you try it. I hope you like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.